So the first time I ever tried sushi, I thought it was okay. I wasn't super excited about it, but um, I think I was mostly just scared of the idea of eating raw meat, of eating raw fish the first time I had it. So I covered it in a whole bunch of soy sauce and I just put it in my mouth and chewed it up really fast and kind of just got it over with. Uh, but I did like, um, I liked the rice, and I liked um, just some of the flavorings, like if there were sauces on top and stuff. So I'm really excited to actually just make a sushi roll without any raw fish in it, <laughs> with just vegetables in it, and just focus more on the flavors of the rice and the filling, but not have to worry about eating raw fish. Here's all the ingredients. I'm going to do cucumbers sliced up thinly, a red pepper, avocado, and then you need some of these nori wraps. And I just found them at the grocery store, just right there by the Asian aisle. And then for the mixture for the rice, you need three tablespoons of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're just gonna cook a regular cup of rice to start. While the rice is cooking, you can start your mixture for the, that you're going to pour into the rice. So it's your rice vinegar. You can go ahead and put your salt and your sugar into it. And then you can mix it until it's dissolved. And when your rice is done, you're going to pour that in. And then you need a mat to roll the sushi. So I just happen to have a bamboo mat because we bought these place mats when we went on a little vacation to Cambodia. So kind of random that I had one. But you can also use a towel, like people just use a dish towel, anything that you can put some saran wrap over. So go ahead and cover your mat with saran wrap so that the rice doesn't stick. So lay this out. See how there's a smooth, shiny side? You want to put the textured side up. 